Hi guys, Mr. Ship here and today we're going to look at some dominant chords that we can play in open position. Uh, last lesson we took a look at uh, some open, simple open chords like C, like E, like D. But there are other chords that we can play here. This type of chords we may find in some blues songs or we can find at the end of the chord progression that will take us from the fifth chord to one, but that's some, it's more advanced stuff. We'll just look at the chords today and later we'll cover up how the dominant chords are formed and what they are used for. So uh, if we'll follow the cage system and we'll uh, follow the positions, one is E, two is D and so, so on. Uh, first we're gonna look at our E seventh chord. So it's basically uh, E major out my other video with basic chords. So we have this E major position here and we just have to put our pinky on the third fret of the B string. As you can see, it gives a more intrigue sound. If you took a take a look at our D major chord, we just have to move our third finger from here to here, so the, the, this note from here to here. So to do this, we change the position of a chord. So now we have second finger on the uh, G string, second fret. We have our first finger on a B string, first fret, and our third finger on the high E, second fret. So this is our D7, D major, D7. C. This is our C major. just put our pinky on the G string on the third fret. The A chord, we can have it in uh, two different positions. We can have it like this. So instead of our A major, just have to lift our second finger from the G string or we can have it like this barring the first fourth strings and then just put third finger on the high E string. We have our G major chord. And for our G7, so if you use 
this type of fingering third fret third finger on the high E string of the on the low E string second finger on the A string and our pinky on the high E string then it's easy because you only have to move to lift your fourth finger and press your first finger Another chord that you can you can play in the first position, uh, in open string position, is the B7. You'll find B7 in if you play a E blues like. And this is your B7. Or if you have that type of chord progression like E minor. B7 is second finger on the A string fret 2, your index on the first fret of the D string, your third finger on the second fret of the G string, and your pinky on the second fret of the high E. So, to recap our seven chords, we have our E7. D7, our C7, A7, or our G7, and our B7. we also have some minor chords in open position minor seven chords and stuff like that but these lessons only cover our dominant seven chords that we can play on with open strings we of course we can play f7 like this so it's like an e moved one fret up and then make it e7 so f7 but this is a bar chord and it will be covered in the next lesson with bar chords and that will follow the cage system all over the neck like. But that's a different story. So I hope you learn them, hope you'll use them and hope you to subscribe and see you soon. Bye bye.